Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. We're at VMworld 2015, and one of the topics we're going to be talking about a lot here today is the advent of storage sprawl. Because of the speed at which virtualization has come to market and all the different permutations of it, there are a lot of storage systems being thrown into the mix to try to solve all the different problems. We really need to get back to consolidating, back down to one thing, because it's always easier to manage one thing than it is, is to manage half a dozen things. Joining me on the whiteboard to talk about this, I've asked Randy Arsenal. He's the Chief Marketing Officer with Infinidat. Randy, talk about uh, this consolidation effort. What do we need in a system to really be able to consolidate down to one? Sure, George. So, um, the way I like to think about this is it's, it's kind of a journey. A lot of organizations are dealing with a lot of sprawl, so I, I sort of use this simple metaphor of a plane, right? So we want to try to get from this sprawl state over to what I like to call more of a spry or agile state, right? So it's a simple metaphor, right? But you've got a lot of different storage systems, a lot of different protocols. There are lots of factors like virtualization, which you mentioned and I've written about specifically recently, that are driving this sprawl. There's mm -hmm. a lot of requirements for multi-protocol support. Uh, there's staffs that are overworked and overburdened and trying to figure out how to uh, deliver new storage services on time in a costly way or a cost-effective way. So it's creating this, these islands of automation, these silos, so it's very economically uh, unsustainable. Right, right. I, I think a lot of times we're just throwing stuff against the wall to hope it just stops the yeah, bleeding. Yeah, of course, yeah. and, and it, you know, we understand why. We talked to enough IT people, we understand the pressure they're under to sure. deliver these services, the business is driving them really hard. Right. So there ends up being a lot of things that kind of provide sort of um, you know, headwinds, like what are the things that are preventing this journey from happening efficiently? And it's all the usual suspects. It's complexity, right? So you've got increased complexity because you've got more platforms, more heterogeneity, which requires more management tools. It requires a lot more uh, staff typically to support it and, and optimize it. It slows down delivery and time to market. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously not as cost effective because you've got multiple tools that you have to manage. You have to educate the staff to sure. support multiple environments. So there's a lot of complexity, cost, uh, data movement is a big problem, especially yeah, in virtualized environments. Yeah, you get from one platform to another. Yeah. yeah, sure. And data movement is the most expensive thing you do in a data center, so sure. the, the less you can do of it, the better. Right. So those are all the kind of headwinds that are preventing uh, consolidation from really being viable. So we've sort of gone from consolidated to now very dispersed. Right. Uh, but to your point, and I know again we've done some research on this recently, some of the new emerging technologies around flash and very high aerial density drives are actually enabling consolidation to kind of become more of a reality now. Okay. So what are some of the things that are sort of driving this journey forward and helping sure. to optimize it? So it is things like flash, obviously, flash technology. Now everybody's talking about flash. It's kind of the, you know, the new black in the industry for lack right. of a better word. Um, there's very high aerial density uh, drives as well though. So what's happening is you're seeing this kind of bifurcation where there's, there's all flash platforms. They're very popular now. There's a ton of them. They're popping up every day. Right. And for certain workloads and certain working set sizes, they're great. I mean, they perform well. They're, they're, they're easy to manage. But again, they often confronted, they're often confronted with problems of data sprawl and large environments with larger working sets. And it becomes a little more difficult for them to be able to sustain that. So how do you take advantage of Flash mm -hmm. as a resource or as a very viable resource, but in a way that drives efficiency and makes it easier to use? So a simple acronym, we're, we're not prudes, but prudes is a way that I like to describe the characteristics of a platform that can mitigate some of the problems with the headwinds and provide more efficiency. So the first thing is performance. So obviously you need a system that's performant and can support mixed workloads, right? You can't have it highly specialized to just your VDI environment, for instance, right. or just your supply chain back office. So type. it has to be the right performance at the right time. Right, so you got to be able to adapt performance to different workloads within a single environment. So performance, and it has to be sustained at a high level, so you can't afford to just throw flash at your ultra high performance workloads and, and everything else will suffer as a result of it. You need that level of fine grained control. Sure. The second piece is obviously reliable, right? Now, as you, as you consolidate more workloads onto a single platform, your requirements to have high reliability and availability are, are sort of unanimous across all the workloads. It's a very democratized right. environment. Right, well, in your fault domain, it decreases, right? Exactly right. Yeah. So you've got to have component reliability, system reliability at the highest possible level. That's an absolute requirement, table stakes for any kind of a consolidation platform. Right. So the next one is utilization. 
One of the things that tends to happen in an environment where you have a lot of storage sprawl is you get very low levels of utilization for a bunch of reasons. I mean, you've got workloads targeted at specific platforms. Mm -hmm. You've got these you know, wide stripe environments with hard disk drives for some of the legacy systems to sustain sure. performance, very low levels of utilization. So you want to drive up utilization without sacrificing Right, because that also increases cost, right? Because you just have a bunch of stuff that's not of being course. used. Right, which yeah. brings us to the next point, which is density. Okay. So you really need to have a system that has a high aerial density mm -hmm. because that helps reduce cost, right? Okay. The more you can get into a single floor tile or a single unit of space at a lower power consumption ratio, for instance, is going to drive the economics and make this whole thing much more viable. So yeah, it's going to help I, I'd say the number one thing we see in data centers now is not so much that they can't get power, as mm -hmm. they can't get space. Exactly. And, right. and building your next data center is wildly expensive. Yeah. So, right? so that's you know that's where these new generation high density disk drives, and, right. and it's only increasing. You know, we we talk to drive suppliers all the time. Sure. Uh, as part of our supply chain discussion, and the aerial density is going to continue to increase, right? right? So it really drives the economics in a very favorable way. The next bit, obviously, is easy, right? So right. as we're looking to consolidate into a single platform, you're going from multiple disparate platforms. You need to put that into an environment where it's very simple to manage. You've got to be right. able to train your staff quickly. You've got to be able to get staff who may be trained on multiple different management metaphors onto a single, simple platform quickly easily and get them productive quickly. Right. So, so we want to get down simple. to one thing, but not only one really hard thing, we want to get the one easy yeah, thing. Yeah, of course. Can I mean, sense. simplification kind of makes this whole thing possible, right, from the staff efficiency sure. perspective. And the last one is scale. So you need a system that can handle large volumes of data, large working set sizes, mm -hmm. because the reality is, as you consolidate onto a single platform in a mixed workload kind of an environment, you're going to have working set sizes that span, you know, small sub numbers of terabytes for for relational databases, for instance, up to perhaps petabytes for big data and analytical applications. So you need a platform that can accommodate all those and can scale to incorporate all of those different workloads without having to add you know, a thousand nodes to your cluster, for instance. And, and so when you're talking about scale, it's it's also probably important to make sure we can scale both performance and capacity, Correct. right? And, and often independent of one another. That's the other thing you've got to be able to do, is you need to be able to tailor the environment to suit the workload mix, which will change over time. So there's a lot of traditional storage systems. And by the way, some of the flash systems are based on a fairly traditional architecture right. on the front end. They are engineered and architected to support a particular environment up front. But as performance changes, as workload changes, as data volume changes, the characteristics of that performance curve change. So it has to constantly be tuned, optimized, changed, modified. So you need a system that can scale and adapt to those workloads that as makes, they change. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. So I think that really wraps up, and these really attributes I think are really critical mm -hmm. if we're going to get down to one system. Now obviously you guys at Infinidat mm -hmm. provide that. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so what we've done is we've developed a system that really is designed to exploit these technologies that exist today and those that are coming down the, down the road from the drive suppliers to deliver on all of these capabilities for a, a really high performance, high aerial density, enterprise class platform with mainframe level reliability. So we think it really provides a perfect consolidation platform in the sense that it can it can take workloads of all different types, especially in a highly virtualized environment, and deliver that service level consistently across all the different workloads. And obviously we're at VMworld, but yep. and you mentioned virtualization, but it doesn't have to be a virtualized no. workload. No, it doesn't. I mean, obviously it's a it's a pretty uh, pretty good affinity for us and a good sweet spot. But yeah, we support multiple environments, you know, bare metal workloads as well. So. Uh, most large organizations are not fully virtualized. They're largely virtualized, but they still have important bare metal workloads as well. And Absolutely. our customers are using it for both. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us today. Okay, thanks, George. So there, there you have it. You can get down to one. You need some key requirements to be met to really get there, but it can be accomplished. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.